Revolution Advocacy for it's Women that. Inc. and the Freedom Center. Um, just coming to you finally with our podcast. Sorry, we're a little late. We had planned on doing this just before Halloween, uh, but we just so excited to be able to share with you as we get to ready to go see you beautiful ladies out on outreach tonight uh, in our Halloween costumes. Uh, getting just sharing with you our uh, our podcast into the inferno and so we're in November it's the middle of November and Thanksgiving is only a couple weeks away and we wanted to share with you uh, an event that happened in our life that we're very thankful for mm -hmm. in 2021 sorry I'm very is your horn adjusted yeah I think so. I think. <laughs> this is my birthday present it's her birthday present. It. It's a it's a unicorn with whiskers. <laughs> I thought horses had whiskers, which they do. Uh, so we decided that we were looking for some le, le meow, and I got into le, a, meow. le meow, le meow, yes, le meow, <laughs> and um, I got into a fight with the cat, and now I have whiskers. And so oddly enough, <laughs> Lay Meow is a recipe we learned by the Tigger in the back seat. You might notice Tigger in the back seat. He's joining us tonight. His name is Paco. Great person. And Mariah's honeydew. Yes. So awesome. Not that's Mar the pig. <laughs> Piglet. Mariah's the pig. Piglet. So. <laughs> okay. So with that being said by our lovely executive director horned <laughs> executive director <laughs> and founder of fire revolution i am michelle i am the co-executive director of fire revolution and very honored indeed she gets to escort us out tonight which is gonna be so fun that's why i wore a shirt <laughs> your fire shirt here let's go really quick see there's the fire yes shirt. i have a shirt i'm the only one with a shirt they they get buttons tails and horns <laughs> Oh, and a snout. I'm sorry, Mariah. We love you. <laughs> ears, yeah. We have ears somewhere. Here's my ears. <laughs> oh, God, help us. <laughs> Please let us in. So <laughs> Can you wait? You see this five foot three unicorn walking across the, the floor. <laughs> if it helps, she knows how to do dishes. Yes, yes. In my, in my onesie. In my in costume. Her onesie. <laughs> podcast <laughs> into the inferno go <laughs> something we're thankful for so i am going to start with um scriptures that came to me when i was going over what i was thankful for and the first one huge some of you might know some of it is going to be psalm 23 and it's the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he makes me lie down in green pastures he leaves me beside still waters he restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his namesake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. They, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord. That one is amazing, very, very much to be thankful for in there. And I definitely had some things in 2021 where I could relate them up. There was many struggles and trials in my life as I settled into a new job at a church. Yes, jobs at a church can be stressful. And, you know, God gave me peace in that. And I'm so thankful for that. You know, all those times where... It was hard or I was worried or, you know, I seen people hurting. It, it, I was able to find peace. I was able to do the right thing and stand up and be who God created me to be to the best of my ability. But yet in the end, I feel like it turned out okay. And I did the right thing and I helped people in that. That helps me a lot and it makes me happy, you know, Again, that's there's so much things that happened in the past year with COVID, you know, so the way the Lord walks with me as I walk through the valley in the shadow of death, you know, I lost people in COVID. We've all lost people working in a church. I, a part of what I do is helping with funerals. There is the shadow of death around me and to be the light, to stand up, to show up 
and be one of the few in that place to to show order, to present what these folks grieving need presented while I'm grieving my own stuff at the same time. And we've done these podcasts of love and grace and the Lord, the Lord makes it so you can find peace in that. And that was at the beginning of this. Amongst all of that, somehow my cup overflows. I, I am blessed beyond measure. I have things that I never thought I would have. And one of the biggest things is the peace. You know, the peace in all of that. God has shown me mercy when I've screwed up. It's just, it's just amazing. And I know that even though all these things, I will dwell in the house of the Lord. I believe I dwell in the house of the Lord at some sense right now, within my job, within my life, the Lord is all around me. So in a sense, I'm in it now. I know there's an even better one to come someday, but we are in one now too. And it's hard for me to choose one thing I'm grateful for this year. But I think it's really summed up in that scripture as I think of all the things that come to my head as I read over those words. It's, it's just amazing. And I want to end with another scripture and that's Hebrews 12, 26 through 29. And that's around the grounds of grateful for an unshakable kingdom. At that time, his voice shook the earth. But now he has promised yet once more, I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. This phrase yet once more indicates the removal of things that are shaken. That is things that have been made in order that things that cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore, let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. And thus let us offer to the Lord acceptable worship with reverence and awe, for God is a consuming fire. When we show grace, when we show love, when we do things that are hard, it makes us unshakable. And that leads us back to the other one where we're going to end up in the kingdom of heaven. And I just love that stuff. Yeah. So I love you guys too. <laughs> and so with that I'll I'll pass it over to the the whiskered rainbow <laughs> horned unicorn star body. What did you call unicorn. me? Lady Lady Corn? Lady she's a lady corn. Lady corn? Yeah. I'm excited to be a lady corn. <laughs> so my scripture is and I've shared this previously is Philippians four eighteen, which is we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And in two thousand twenty one you, it just it's, it was picking up after the pandemic and having COVID in December last year and recently getting over it right now and watching a loved one go through it uh, but my I feel like the thing that I am most grateful for obviously is assignment I feel that the Lord gives us all assignments and it's listening uh, to him and how do you handle this assignment which is one of his children one of his children that are lost I believe every single one of you are, are an assignment for us and this is why we continue to visit you in the clubs and why we're faithful in that even though we were down for we normally come out at the end of the month and we were down for a couple weeks we're still coming out we're unshakable <laughs> we are unshakable um, and my my one thing is the assignment to be able to be a Krav Maga instructor and to be able to teach you beautiful ladies self-defense to be able to stand up for what your voice is and what your dreams are and how do you accomplish that when another human is oppressing you in some way and sometimes we oppress ourselves and being able to find that path um i'm very involved in the the trauma-informed community here the uh, the faith community i mean there's trauma-informed care community and then there's trauma-informed faith community and i'm very involved with the faith community when it comes to trauma that we've experienced however that looks and being able to share my voice and understanding that someone that has experienced the trauma that I have should not be able to do a martial art because of all the PTSD and the triggers that are involved that may come up. And I've shared that piece with you, but I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I believe that the Lord is with us and we've shared too that we do something um, called Sneaky Jesus, right? Which is being able to teach life skills that are biblically based and being able to show you how the Lord has interacted with us 
and uh, and I am successful because the Lord is with me. And when I look at every, even in the hardest times, how Jesus with, was with me, even when I thought he had abandoned me. And now that I've come to that place of accepting that he's in me and with me, and with him, I am an accessible, successful, I can pursue getting my black belt and being able to, you know, as those triggers show up, on the mat for other women, helping them find a way, finding their path so that they can pursue their dream when it comes to martial arts. Uh, so that's that's the biggest thing that I'm thankful for, not only for my own journey of obtaining my orange belt, which is very difficult, the things that show up, but just as I grow with each level of obtaining the next belt and each belt is harder to obtain, um, being able to find, forge my path being able to heal from some of the stuff that I've been through and acknowledge it and like literally put it to rest and process it. So very, very thankful for the Lord being with me and for the assignment to be able to do. If you had told me a year and a half ago when I started this journey that I was going to be forging the way so that other survivors of domestic violence and human trafficking could learn self-defense themselves, I would have told you you're crazy. Yeah. Uh, but to be here now and just to be thankful not only for um, the being an instructor, but being grateful for the assignment uh, from the Lord himself. Yay! When is our next Women's <clears throat> Only? We actually just decided it's going to be January 22nd. It's going to be our free one. And it's going to be at the studio uh, um, in Gilbert, Next Level, uh, Krav Maga, Fitness, Martial Arts. Um, and it's going to be from 10 to 11.30. So it's a very small one, a basic one, and it is our free one. So Do it. We're going to have to sign up because we'll probably get filled up because it's the free one. So I'm already signed up. Right? <laughs> yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> Brian and Michelle are already signed up. So let us know. Reach out to us. Um, I'll, and I'll add it to the website. And with that, I will pass it on to our beautiful couple in the back my amazing daughter and son in love frame um <laughs> fire frame fire frame <laughs> so with that mariah okay um mariah and the most thing i'm thankful for this year in 2021 is um we actually finally were able to move out and get our own place and um yay, yay! <laughs> um, I know it was just a struggle just because it's so hard to live with um, other family members and it, it's not hard but it's difficult when the space is too small so um, and what was difficult was trying to be patient and wait for what God had for us because I know I just wanted to move out I just wanted to pick anything like it didn't mm. matter I was like let's just pick anything I will save money and we'll get something else later but what I'm really thankful for is that um, God gave me the <laughs> patience to be able to wait for what he had for us. And so we finally moved in, and I'm so thankful that God ended up working out. Yay! 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 Sorry, Paco! <laughs> okay. And with that, Mariah is passing it on to the lovely Paco! <laughs> Hi, I'm Paco, and what I'm thankful for this year is, you know, being able to join, you know, my mother Michelle and my wife at to these events. I mean, I was excited because we were supposed to do it on the Halloween event, but it got canceled, so I was kind of bummed out and nervous. But now I'm happy that I get to go for the first time and see what's it all about and see what I can do to help out as well. We're and so that's what grateful. I'm thankful. We're so thankful for you, Paco. We're thankful you could come too. Thank he comes you. to all of our events and supports us. Uh -huh. Shows us his perspective as a man. It's just amazing. He makes bracelets. Yes, and he makes bracelets <laughs> for you too. Bracelets. Amazing bracelets. Yes, he does. They're like, okay, they're cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to like try to. They're cool. <laughs> so we have an amazing challenge for you this is our first podcast where we're yes. actually challenging you and so i'm really excited so here it is jessica's got it it's called the gratitude challenge i'm just going to read this to you 
and you know again do it come back to the video and then provide your feedback or even in the next podcast just share a brief praise report or story of, of how the challenge impacts your life we would love to hear it. maybe if we get any we'll read them if you're comfortable if you're not you don't want us to share please say don't share but yeah spoiler alert we're going to do it next month <laughs> yes, ourselves yes, so yes. join us in that and yes. if we have some good ones we won't mention names but we could maybe mention it here on some of the ones we've seen uh, it would be cool yeah so it says whether you feel content where your life is right now or you wish things were different you can make the decision to be thankful if you have a hard time believing that thankfulness can make a big difference challenge yourself to a week of cultivating gratefulness before you get out of bed in the morning thank God for three things in your life as you go through your day recognize and vocalize gratitude for the traits and kindness of others at nightfall offer up a prayer of thanksgiving for for three challenges you're experiencing mm. give it a week see how you feel and if you're starting to see a difference give it a month mm. it only takes about 21 days to uh, to make a habit and it's to sad. make it a life skill i i think i was told it was either 65 or 75 mm. days so after you've done the the month, the 21 days or the 30 days, keep going. Keep going to 60 and then uh, then to 75. I think I'm pretty sure it's 75, 71 days. I'll make sure and then I'll post it on here um, exactly what Caroline Leaf says in changing it into a life habit. Amen. All the amens. Amen and amen. <laughs> So we're really excited to come out and see you. If you need anything at all, please visit the yes. website, thefirerevolution.com. Uh, our hotline number is on there. Michelle and I are the ones that answer that hotline. You can either call us or text us. We'd be happy to pray with you. Or if, you, if you're needing any type of resources, we keep partnering with new organizations that are popping up yeah. that can assist and we really want to hear from like single moms that may be moving into a new place and housing stuff. House stuff. <laughs> Call us, text us. Events that we'll see you in December uh, for the holiday outreach. I know you ladies look forward to that every year. Mm. We'll be doing that. And uh, holidays are always tough. So we mm. want you to know that we're thinking of you, we're praying for you. And if you need anything at all, please reach out. Uh, and if we, obviously we'll see you in December, uh, but our next public event will be in January, January 22nd. Yes. Uh, and then January is also Human Trafficking Awareness Month. So we'll share uh, any survivor, um, survivor stories that might be at a church or an organization that you can come and hang out with us. Anything else you wanna add? We love you. <laughs> so, we love you. And we'll see you soon. <laughs>